What do you think, darling? I hear ya. You know me. I've been here forever. Who do you think I am? Prime creator? Hi, that's my part. No, I looked the part. You want me to say what? Fuck you too. Oh, bleep that. Okay, bleep. Bleep, bleep. What's that? I don't know. It's annoying. You don't like that word. What's that word? It's a tone. Oh, that tone. What is this? Positive energy. 501 hertz. Five hundred and twenty-eight hertz euphoria boost. What is five hundred and twenty-eight hertz? What's that note? Tell me. You know, 432 is A. No. Focus. 528. 100. Binaural beat. Okay. What's the stuff? It's a healing. Okay, the Nature Healing Society is here for one reason. We're make, taking a stand to fight the negative force, to share the wonders of our amazing planet Earth, and to help guide and save and make a better planet. To do this, we've known all along that to enjoy and preserve the Earth we, we live on, we have to start with ourselves. We will have everything from morning rituals 
that really work to break down some of the leading thought leaders to videos about the facts and science of our amazing planet Earth. That's why we'll be bringing you topics so that will build a better you, the best you you can be. We absolutely love our Mother Earth. We aim to share beautiful videos that inspire love and gratitude for her nature, for our nature. Our crew as is a team with lots of passions, emotions. We are musicians, drone movie recorders, content writers, digital editing content creators. Our work is made by love and deep passion, the magical combination of meditation, music, and nature relieves you from any stress which makes you a better person. This is the sure way for an early life transformation. Best of all, the Nature Healing Society will, will conserve the most precious precious resource you have, your time. We know that every day, every hour, every minute and second of your life is precious. So Nature Healing Society videos won't waste your time with useless stuff. Just useful, positive, healing content. We welcome you to our journey we really appreciate your support. Eternal Love, Nature Healing Society, and Rudy Alexander. Okay. It's good stuff. I like the music. What's this? 528 hertz. Okay. I like it. Focus. Think, Dylan. Does that work? Ilya, I know. That's right, darling. I know you're there. It's good to me. You like it? We're ahead. We know that's what the goal is. Getting younger now. I'm younger every day, one step at a time. You know the drill, though. Every day. Do something. Take that control. Look for the things that need repairs. So what needs repairs here? You know me. My body. One step at a time. my body. You see it? It's right there. Okay. What are you going to do about it? You really messed it up.
into the wind who's singing really good I remember singing to the wind okay here we are singing it's time to sing God be with us at our table. May the 
the food upon our board. Strengthen us and make us able work to do for Thee, O Lord. Amen. That's right, darling. Good food, good people. Who? Everybody's family here. We're all connected. You know. We're all connected, darling. Hold my hand. So good. So good. Hugs are important, darling. Is that right, Mom? Give us a hug. I like hugging. Focus. Focus. Feel it. Okay. I like that feeling. We're safe here. No pressure. Focus. I hear you. Focus. Listen. Feel it. Okay, I feel it. Tell me what to do, darling. We were building a house down there in the lower 40. It's a rental. And then we're building a country store up here across from Fire Mountain School. It's a business. He wants to own the real estate. Talk to me. We can do it. You park your money in real buildings. Real estate. Houses. Stores. Buildings. That's what it is. It's another building. Okay. Let's get on with it, guys. Boys and girls, what do you think? Did we get there yet? Are we there yet? Is that funny? That's funny, darling. That's not funny, that's stupid. What's the problem? How stupid is it? Really stupid. I'm sorry. What's the problem? Something's happening. It's annoying. It keeps shifting. What is it? That light, where is it going? Oh, 
Okay, where's the light going? You see it? Where are we now? Over here. This is that other dimension. I'm looking at you. You're in 3D. That's right. You're over there, 3D reality, digitized. Do you see it? I see it. You're there. And what are you doing? I'm just thinking. Consciousness continues. That's my conclusion. Excuse me. Well, that's what I think. Consciousness comes first. That's what I think. And then, when the body wears out, you continue without a body. Now, where's that place? It's this dimension over here. You know where it is. Do the math. Tiny little dimensions inside, right here. Wide awake, remember this. I know something's missing. You know what's missing. The rest of the story. Over here, come on down, you want to get the rest of the story, this is just the beginning, okay, keep them coming, what's that, 
more laughs. What? Make me laugh, God. Focus. Laugh. What's funny? That's not funny, Paul. You know. That's real. That's where it is. Right there. What's that? That's a real human. That's a real person. That's me. I hear you. What do you want to know? Boys and girls? You already know there's another dimension. That's where we all came from. You know that part of you? That's what they call it. That soul? That's the part that is conscious. Okay, I believe it. You know it. Find it out, see if it works. Focus. I don't understand. Why are you laughing? What's funny? Well, tell me something funny. Is that funny? What's that? Are you angry? Are you frustrated? So? What are you gonna do? Be really stupid. How stupid do you wanna be? Really stupid. stupid. I don't know anything. You know me. I'm the model. That's right. I'm a model for the new machine. Okay? 
we only call me Harvey. I'm your invisible rabbit, darling. Talk to me. I'm over here. This is that dimension. They can't see it. But it's here. It's real to me. You see that? That's one of my rings. It's an old ring, Latvian design. Name Skiretza. And there's Gina's ring. That's right. It's a memory. It's history. You see it now? There it is. Laugh. Okay. I see. What's the problem, Dollar? Missing something? What are we missing? What are we missing, darling? The big picture, right here. Well, what are we trying to do? Knock out the bad bugs. Amplify the good bugs. Okay. It's a bug hunt. You got a bug? You see a bug? Show me the bug. Where's the bug? Excuse me? Who's got the bug? What bug? Oh, that bug? Okay. You can hear me. Okay, 
worth talking, you know? Who's talking anyway? I know. Dad? I remember. How does it feel? Your dad, you got the money. You know how it works. What's the problem? Oh, the problem. I know the problem. Excuse me? They don't understand it. It's an electromagnetic field. That's the dimension. It's right there. Okay. Positive, darling. We're wiping out the bugs. That's what we're doing. You see a bug when you do. Tell the Creator, report the bug, what's the bug, okay, you need some help with that, huh? I know, something's missing, what did you expect? What did you expect? Feel the love. Feel the love. Feels good. I like it. Feel the love. I like it. Getting what we need here. The whole lot of misinformation going on. I don't understand it. You understand it? What's this misinformation? You know, they're trying to convince you that stuff is true. But you know it's true. What's that? Check it out. Who knows what they're talking about? Hunter Thompson? You know Hunter? A savvy news consumer's guide. How not to get duped by Alicia Shepard. Well, news fans, to mix metaphors, ball is now squarely in your court. Fake news is everywhere. For instance, 
Millions voted illegally for Hillary Clinton. Protesters were paid to disrupt Trump rallies. Pope Francis endorsed Donald Trump. The one that turned up just days before the election, Clinton was behind the murder-suicide of an FBI agent involved in her private email debacle. That's just a partial list, list of stories, still unequivocally false. And now there's a fake news story with real-life consequences. A 28-year-old man fired an assault rifle inside a D.C. pizzeria recently after reading an outlandish story linking the restaurant and, why not, Clinton to a child sex trafficking ring. There's nothing new about fake news. What is different today are the vast social media networks Yeah, that's what it is. Fake news travels real fast now. It doesn't have to be true to do what it is designed to do. That's the way it is. Manipulate. Who are these people? The proliferation of news consumption on social media means Americans are dealing with a fire hose of information with little curation or verification. Age 18, according to a 2015 study by the Media Insight Project, 88% of millennials get news regularly from Facebook and other social media. According to the Pew Research Center, Nearly half of all adults get their news from Facebook, which is currently struggling with how to handle the thorny issue of vetting fake news without violating First Amendment rights. All of this means that when it comes to determining facts from fakes and understanding how one's own biases affect how news is accessed, processed, and shared. The onus in today's unfiltered media world is irrevocably on the news consumer. The days when the mainstream news media were trusted gatekeepers who only published or aired deeply reported stories are long over. Each of us must act in, as our own editor. Adopting the skills and taking the time, yes, to determine the real deal. One key Newsroom axiom to adopt if your mother says she loves you, check it out. In other words, the more you are inclined to believe someone, the more you should be skeptical. The failure to do this is why, no matter Rigorously, mainstream news outlets fact check false stories or scrutinize Donald Trump's statements 
often it doesn't matter. Liberals and conservatives believe they want to, no matter how far fetched. It's known as confirmation bias. People search out information that confirms or reinforces what they already think. All too often, they are not open to information that could cause them to question those beliefs. Research shows that when people are confronted with information that contradicts what they believe, capacity to reason often shuts down. In 2008, I wrote about confirmation bias for PR. Nothing changed. In fact, Americans have gotten more entrenched in their beliefs and their unwillingness to absorb information that contradicts or complicates their beliefs. Milo Washburn, Purdue University social, sociology professor, who co-wrote a book on media bias, knows this well. He told me in 2008 that research going back to the 1960s shows how difficult, if not impossible, it is to change people's central core beliefs. When people are really committed to ideological positions, especially with politics, even if you present them with empirical evidence that supports the opposite of what they believe, Washburn. Core beliefs are very, very resistant to change. There already are efforts underway to educate the next generation on how to navigate news. The Literacy Project is a nonprofit dedicated to educating students in middle and high school on how accurately sniff out the truth. The Center for News Literacy at Stony Brook University works around the world providing tools to develop smarter news consumers. The need for such education is clear. A recent Stanford University study found that 82% of middle schoolers did not know the difference between a real news story and an ad that clearly stated it was sponsored content. Basically, unedited advertising. These results are no surprise to the eight-person team News Literacy Project. Alan Miller, a Pulitzer Prize winning investigative reporter, started in 2008 after leaving the newsroom. Critical thinking skills. Beginning with schools in New York City and around Washington, D.C., the project expanded to Chicago and Houston. In one New York City school, high school seniors didn't know Bin Laden was dead or that U.S. forces had killed him, according to Miller. Students need to be able to understand newsworthiness. So 
resource, documentation, fundamental fairness, and the aspiration of minimizing bias in a dispassionate search for truth. Quote Miller, a journalist, article for the National Council of Social Studies. They also need to be familiar with concepts of transparency and accountability. After a presidential election in which fake news played such a prominent role, the need for news literacy has never been greater. The nature of the presidential campaign combined with the recent disclosure of the prevalence and power of fake news have underscored the urgency of teaching news literacy to the next generation. Said Miller, I wish I could say I was prescient and knew how great the need would be eight years later. But as a prospective donor said, the zeitgeist has come to you. This is our moment. In eight years, Miller's project has worked with several hundred educators and 25,000 students to dramatically extend its reach nationally. The project in May launched the psychology virtual a cutting edge research that teaches the core skills and concepts for making sense of news and information. As many as 675 educators in 41 states and Washington, D.C. have already registered to use it with more thousand students. We expect those numbers to grow exponentially. While baby boomers now miss the days when CBS's Walter Cronkite was the most trusted man in America, the problem with fake news isn't going away anytime soon. BuzzFeed, which has been a leader in unmasking fake news under the brilliant media whiz, Craig Sil Silverman, released a December 6th study showing most Americans who see fake news believe it. As long as money can be made and people can be fooled, fake news designed to confuse and raise doubts will flourish. One perpetrator of fake news called NPR he earned between 10000 and 30000 dollars a month making stuff up to feed voracious artisan appetites. Especially, he said, for Trump supporters. What can you do? Slow down, don't reflexively pass on something. Start by always employing thinking skills. Be skeptical, not cynical. Expect to be fooled, be vigilant, don't make Sweeping generalizations. Examine 
news stories on a case-by-case basis. It's having news consumers' responsibility is to learn how to discern credible information from opinion, sponsored content, fake news, viral rumors, clickbait, doctored videos, Satire or comedy, according to Merrimack College professor Melissa Zanders, Zanders, who has made a specialty of studying fake news. Read the About Us section. Does it seem credible? Is it too? It too may be made up. Is there a way to contact a news organization? Does it have a editorial standards like CBS, PBS does? How credible does the website look? Is it streaming all caps? Are there distracting gizmos for you to click on and win $10,000? Exit immediately. Read beyond the headline. Too often we read an outrageous line and confirm our bias and quickly pass it on. Don't. Read deeper into the story and ask how many sources are there? Is there documentation or links to back up the claim? Could you independently verify the content? In most mainstream media stories, people are titles and where they work, although sometimes they are quoted anonymously. And there are links to reports or court documents. Search the names of people places or titles in the story. For example, the false story about Clinton being behind an FBI agent murder suicide said it took place in Walkerville, Maryland. There is no such place. There is a Walkersville tricky Check out a far-fetched quote by copying and pasting it in the search engine. Anyone else have that? Check out the author's name. 
search it or click on it has he or she written anything else is it credible is there any content included in the story does it seem fair are there opposing points of view drill down to find out who is behind the site especially if it's a contentious issue hey too many times the story is recycled with a new exaggerated handle you'd be surprised how many times people die in july i got an email that famous journalist helen thomas had died i started to forward it but something didn't seem right why he had died the year, three years ago. Double check suspicious photos. Okay. You can process the video in no time. Quickly, they can process video. This is fairly easy to do by right clicking on an image and then going to Google search. Photos of Hillary. Stumbling back in February, we recycled post election to give the impression she was sick. Several other helpful sites can assist. Reverse image search. Reverse image search using, using Google. Check your biases. Know your own biases. Try taking Harvard University Project Implicit Bias Test. Learn from a wide variety of sources. If you can, if you lean left, Watch Fox News, listen to Alex Jones or Rush Limbaugh, or read Breitbart. If you lean right, tune in Rachel Maddow on MSNBC. Pay attention to Amy Goodman's Democracy, or watch more middle-of-the-road news on PBS NewsHour. Listen to NPR. Check out Media Matters, which monitors conservative media, and the Media Research Center, which monitors the mainstream media. If you walk away with one useful piece of information, Always ask the question, how do it all with a healthy skeptic? Every story you agree with isn't necessarily so. Every story you disagree with is not necessarily biased either. Be open to views you don't agree with. 
verify, 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 and keep honing your skill. Reading news literacy projects, how to spot fake news. Merrimack College professor Melissa Stars following the slip page and or satirical sources. Snopes.com, Politifact.com. Factcheck.org, how to spot Greg Silverman, five telltale signs of an online hoax. First draft news.com provides an excellent guide to navigating the news online. This post was first published on BillMoyers.com. Okay. Now what? Is that important? Well, you decide. What am I trying to do here? I'm creating something. You get the big picture yet? It's a model for a smart machine. It looks as real as reality. That's right. It is real. It keeps getting better. What's the story? Understand it. I like that story. It keeps getting better every time they tell it. Okay, so what is that story? Oh, that story. This is our body. Okay. You know that story. This is our body. What are we doing with it? What are we doing with our body, darling? Feel it. Making it younger. Focus, wide awake, breathe, what's this stuff, you know, this is tobacco, that's the ad. You know that? Oh, that's right. That's the stuff. And then what? People buy that stuff. I know. We've got more than we need. Focus. Why is it so expensive? I don't understand. Why is it so expensive? It used to be affordable. Wait a minute. So where's the money going? You buy it. Where's the money go? Who gets paid? Who's paying who? Wait a minute. Who's paying?
pay me? What are you giving me money for? It's a machine. It's a smart machine. What do you call it? It's an artificial intelligence machine. It thinks. It figures it out. I can't figure it out. It's a smart machine. What does it do? It keeps thinking. I know. It's obnoxious. What's the problem? Okay. I'm looking for something funny here. Why are we laughing? Oh. It's Biden. Okay. Stop. 